She is officially the best teacher in the world. Carrying her prize trophy, she got a hero's welcome on her first day back at school. But for Andrea Zeferaku, her award is as much for the children she teaches as it is for herself and her school. This award is not just for me, it's for them as well. It's um, such a great representation of, of who they are and what this means to our community. There were tears of pride from her colleagues. Photos to pose for. And huge cheers everywhere she went. At an inner city London school, which is in one of the poorest areas of the country, where 35 languages are spoken and where many children live in crowded homes, it was obvious how much their teacher and her award means. Well, she motivates us. She knows and she'll tell us never to give up because we will never give up with her. You should win it anyway because, like, she's probably the best teacher in the world to me. She helps them with work after school and protects them from the daily threat of gangs outside the school gates by ensuring they get home safely on the bus. She told me for her, teaching isn't just a job, it's her calling. It wasn't a choice. I know it sounds really kind of cheesy, but it was, it was what I was going to do from day dot, and it was almost like my destiny. I knew that this was the path I was going to take. I really want to be an advocate for helping our disadvantaged students and, and opening doors for them so that whatever their dreams are and whatever they'd like to achieve, we will make this happen for them. Her students say her award just recognises what they already knew. Sejal Karia, ITV News, North West London.